And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel and look at all this rain that is heading towards Lake Mead. You have tons of rain between Lake Mead and Lake Powell over at Kanab Sapa and you have Peach Springs down here. You have a big cluster of rain and then you have some rain over in Vegas as well. And we go back through the 12 hour loop here. You can see that these storms have just blown up big time here and it's going to march off east this is really good news for lake mead however there is some flash flood watches out in effect in arizona and vegas as well so you have to be careful out there it doesn't take much rain out in the desert to cause problems these are the monsoons that are kicking through and let's go out to lake mead and see what the current water level is currently as we roll out to lake mead you can see that the current water level is 160 65.31 and this was Thursday August 31st 2023 at 9 p.m. Central Time not 9 p.m. Western Time it's only 7 o'clock there the level is 163.69 feet below full pool of 1229 Lake Mead is up 0 0.29 in the last 24 hours Lake Mead is up 2.06 in the last 14 days a lot of that's from the hurricane and the outflows at Lake Powell as well and then we go to the last 365 days Lake Mead is up 21.02 feet so this is fantastic news and this is what it looks like on the graph here you can see that 1229 is your full pool level in 2021 we were at 1068.10 so there's a good probability that we're going to surpass 2021 last year was dismal at 1044.29 we were real low and we continue to scoot up here we are moving in positive manner here and this is fantastic news 950 for your inactive pool 895 for your dead pool we're a long way from that and we check this as of august 31st 2023 12 a.m lake mead is up 21.02 feet and from one year ago lake mead is down 2.79 feet from two years ago and lake mead's 115.31 feet away from inactive pool lake mead is 170.31 feet away from dead pool so that's good news your inflows and your outflows currently are 5,339 for out and 11,708 in and I imagine that will start to rise with this monsoons kicking back in and your current capacity is 34.07 percent of capacity there at Lake Mead and we are going to go back to windy.com and see what they're calling for for the next 10 days and see how much water is expected to come to Lake Mead so we go the next 24 hours they're saying zero inches but we go to the radar and you can clearly see that these radars this is definitely not taking into account what's falling here you have a big time thunderstorm over here at Page. This thing is cooking. It's pretty good. We got all this rain here and then we go to the rain accumulation here and you can see that the rain accumulation for the next 24 hours is zero and we know that's not true. So it's not taking into consideration from that. We go to the GFS and they're calling for a little bit of rain, maybe almost an inch there, but Las Vegas is getting rain currently right now and we go to the next 10 days and they're calling for 2.1 and down here for my friends down at Lake Havasu you're talking almost 1.3 inches so stay dry and just to the west of there 2.14 so this is good news for that maybe they can back off the water at Lake Mead and it will continue to rise now we go to the her model to see if it's changing in the next 48 hours here they're calling for a ton of precipitation here check this out this is the her model the her model here is calling for 4.5 inches of rain now if this happens this is going to be insane now look at Vegas. I mean, this could be really dramatic for Vegas. 3.54 inches of rain possibly coming in the next 48 hours for Las Vegas. So if you're in Vegas right now, heads up. It's going to be devastating. 3.54 inches of rain in a desert is just bad news. So be cautious. Do not go through any running water. I'm here to inform. And my friends down in Havasu, you're going to miss the majority of it. But if you're in Bullhead, look at this. Down by Lake Mojave, 2.1 and just to the east of there you're talking about 4.98 so there's going to be 
massive flooding going on here. I'm going to have to keep a close eye on Lake Mojave because that's a lot of rain all within that area there. 5.2 inches there. If that happens, Lake Mojave's already running high. Let's go check out Lake Mojave's water level currently. Lake Mojave's currently 642.93. Now, luckily, it's down a little bit. And this was Thursday, August 31st, 2023 at 10 p.m. The level's 4.07 feet below full pool of 647. Lake Mojave is down 0 0.5 four five in the last 24 hours lake mojave is down 0 0.86 in the last 14 days lake mojave is down 0 0.01 in the last year so that is good news but however with four inches coming this lake's always always runs high and you're currently only five feet away and you got five inches of water coming this might be bad news for lake mojave we're gonna have to keep a close eye on this and see what the levels are tomorrow so i will be back tomorrow 647 is your full pool level 643.50 in 2021 last year was 642.94 this year is pretty similar 642.93 533 from Deadpool you're a long way from that however we're more concerned about the full pool and possibly going over now we will see what happens what happens ultimately this is very concerning with Lake Mojave if this is a true forecast and there's a lot of rain in the area right now and maybe that will continue for the next day or two that is really really going to be very concerning now we will be back and I will have a full Colorado River update coming very soon for all the these lakes. You guys have a blessed evening and we will be back. Sorry for the late haul, but I've been out mowing grass and whatnot and I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Stay safe. Stay out of water if you can. Avoid streams that are flooding and turn around or just wait it out or whatever you need to do. Don't chance it. Your life's more important than that. You guys have a blessed day.